Hello and welcome to another Tackle Trading YouTube tutorial. In this clip, Coach Tyler Craig continues the conversation on backtesting. So we, we looked at how a naked put would have fared in USO and, and we were looking at this time period and we got, we got our butts kicked, right? You guys remember how we lost the first couple of months and we lost a ton of money, right? Well, that was only a couple of months and you would have had to have continued backtesting it. But, but let's just pretend like those three or four trades we looked at last week that ended up losing a fair bit of money. Let's pretend like that was your back test. Okay. So what would the conclusion be? Would you conclude that, hey, this is a great strategy. I should just sell puts on USO and not hedge or have any adjustment techniques, but just sell one put each month? I would say no. Right. So I would look at, I would look at those, at those uh, results and I'd say, you know what? I got to go back to the drawing board. Given that USO has the ability to drop 40, 50% and not recover, I don't think I can just blindly sell puts without hedging or getting out early if USO drops. Okay. Um, in, in contrast, so, so for me, I think you would have to figure out a, a better way of managing it than just letting it ride. Okay. And so when I see an ETF that has the ability to go from 120 to $9, that's not an ETF that I really want to just blindly sell puts on without having some type of uh, risk minimization or some way of hedging when things go south. Okay. So personally with USO, um, I'll, I'll sell puts on it. I'll, I'll sell puts on it. I don't, I don't mind doing that. But I, I won't do it blindly without a hedging, okay? So because USO tends to go down over time, I think it's a product where you could build a better system if you said, I'm going to sell puts, but when USO breaks support, I'm going to sell calls as well to hedge. You know, and then I would come up with some rules that tell me when to add the hedge um, and so forth. Or, you know, maybe I say, you know what? I don't want to always be leaning bullish on this thing. So maybe instead of systematically selling puts, Maybe I'll systematically sell a strangle where I sell puts and calls. And that way I'm more neutral and, and the, the naked put's going to be hedged from the get-go by the short call. Maybe that would be a better play. Or maybe you look at USO and you say, actually, I, I'm going to see what it would look like if I was just selling calls. Okay. Or maybe you come up with a trend following system where you say, hey, I'm going to use I'm going to use the 50-day moving average to determine the trend. And let me, let me go back to three-year daily. And when we're you know, below the 50-day moving average, I'll sell calls each month instead of selling puts. But if we're above the 50, then I'll sell puts. You know, so maybe I have more of a directional component uh, to improve the system. Okay. Um, something that I think makes a little bit more sense to, to systematically sell puts on. Um, emerging markets is one that I've used for a while. And I have a little more confidence that EEM goes up over time or that sell-offs are temporary and it's not going to go down 95% like a USO. You know, if you look at emerging markets over 15 years, it's, it's a lot more stable, right? So you take out the 2008 episode and it's been pretty much neutral. Right? It's got decent volatility. It's got liquid options. This is something where if I back tested selling puts every month, it would perform a lot better than a USO. Right? And you say, well, you know, was that a one-off? Is that because you know, the last 10 or 15 years was, was a, um, you know, unique and it's not going to be repeated? No, I, I think EEM will continue to exhibit similar behavior. You know, so I have more confidence in, in building a system on that. Um, so with USO and, and with our naked put trading, maybe the takeaway is that we need to pick a different ETF. You know, we need to pick a different underlying. So, or, so I build a different system on USO or I pick a better underlying for the naked put. Okay, I think that would be the takeaway. So that is an illustration of determine if the strategy made money. If it didn't, like in the case of USO, go back to the drawing board. Okay. So with USO, we had to modify the strategy. You know, so what that means is selling puts every month.
wasn't great, right? So, you know, maybe I, I sell calls uh, or uh, strangles every month and see if that did better. Or uh, maybe, maybe do a trend following strategy. Like, you know, sell puts when uh, above the 50 MA, sell calls when below the 50 MA if you want to try to trade it every month, something like that. Are you a pro member? If not, click the link in the description for a free 15-day pro membership. If you want to trade like a pro, trade with the pros and do so at Tackle Trading.